obviously Karadzic is losing extremely quickly contact with reality. And this time he jeopardized the position of Milosevic and uh, declaring him, uh, at, at least, uh, uh, I cannot really say forcing, but inducing some people to offer him as a president for Republika Srpska was too much of a challenge for Milosevic. Uh, it's a challenge that Milosevic does not like. It's a challenge to his leadership. It's a challenge to him, uh, him as a signature of Dayton Paris peace agreement, and this time the message was very strong. If you keep on with this game, uh, it is going to be a very dangerous game, and you are going to uh, face consequences. And believe me, Milosevic is the only one that can force Karadzic to step down and face consequences. I think he will resign, and I do not see him how he can avoid this pressure on Milosevic of being effective. Do I see him in Hague is a very interesting question. You know, this is Balkan, and in the Balkan many things happen, you know, car accidents, uh, uh, some sudden illnesses. Uh, we have something which is loosely termed uncontrolled groups that sometimes commit uh, murders and things like this. I'm, of course, a little bit on a cynical side, but I'm not so sure that Karadzic will wind up in Hague. Because if Karadzic wind up in Hague, you can be sure he will sell, as we say, his skin uh, very dearly. And selling his skin very dearly would mean involving a lot of people. So I expect Karadzic to disappear somehow, somewhere in deep forests in Bosnia. But uh, I am not uh, too much uh, sorry for that. I think. Karadzic